So we're looking at CSD and the support for CSD in an IRIS system. This is an IRIS managed installation. You go into your configure system page. Uh, in version 4.2, you should have a care services discovery option. Clicking on that option, we see that we have um, several CSD documents here. We have the full CSD document and we have individual CSD documents. What's happening is that the individual CSD documents can be joined together to produce a full CSD document. Uh, you would use this, for example, if you wanted to put the facility information in CSD as well as the health worker information in CSD. You would generate individual CSD documents for the people and for the facilities, and then you would have them combined together in the full CSD document. Um, under zooming in a little bit on the full CSD document, you see a few options. One is to get the CSD document. What this will do is go through and join, merge together all of the individual CSD documents and present that out. The other option is you can update all the enabled CSD documents. So um, everything that is, uh, it'll refresh the, the caches. Um, you can delete all of the caches. And finally, what you see here is the um, endpoint that's needed for um, compliance with the CSD standard. If you're pulling um, an IRIS system, this will be the directory that you would want to use in your URL. Um, you see here how you can, um, the next line, the curl request shows you how you can test from the command line with using curl how to get the uh, CSD request um, to see all of the to get the, all of the documents and in that request you have this file soap.xml that should look something like uh, this right here the only thing that you would want to do is change the URL to he here to the match what was given above, although that's not strictly necessary. Um, but the main thing that you'd want, you might want to change is this last modified. So this tells us that we only get the records that have changed since a specific time. So if we wanted to do yesterday, we'd have 2015, 04, um, 10, and then a timestamp to get the changes since yesterday. Now the individual CSD documents to say what these are. We've got our country data, our county, district, and region data. So these four um, are used to make the organization directory. So each country, region, county, and district is an organization. Next we have the facility. Um, so this looks at the facility information and um, creates a CSD document from that each of the facility records and then we have in this case CSD managed default if we were using qualify we would have CSD uh, qualify default and this will be our default representation of a health worker in CSD if we open this up a little bit we've got some more information we can get the CSD document just for um, these health workers um, uh, just without the facility or geographic information. Um, what's happening is, is that we get, we do a, on the back end is we have a relationship dump. Uh, we have a relationship for all of the data that we want to transform into CSD. Um, and so if you click on this link, you'll be able to see um, all of the information that's in the, um, being exported from IRIS. Um, if you, the next is the XSL transform, if you click on, oh, here we see a bit of what that information looks like for, um, uh, the, the XML relationship dump, sorry, um, going back, we have our transform. If you click on that, you'll get the. XSL transform that takes that relationship dump and turns it into CSD. 
we can update the CSD cache. This will look through all of the uh, um, person forms, so whatever the primary form is in the relationship, and see if that last modification time for that record has changed since the last time that uh, the cache was run. And if so, it will update that record. If we disable the CSD cache, then this will no longer be a part of our full CSD document. So if we know that we're working in a place where the country, the county, district, facility, and region information is coming from um, a facility registry or some other system, such as DHIS or resource map, we can disable those and only include the health worker information. Uh, and finally, we can clear that cache, uh, the individual cache, uh, if we need to start over. Um, you want to do this, for example, if you are developing and need to change the transform or change the relationship and you want to redo the CSD cache. Once all of that is done, you get the CSD document and you can upload it into the OpenInfoMan.